Hi, welcome to another show. Yes, welcome to On Two Wheels. Today we're at Scarborough Beach, the glorious Scarborough Beach. Beautiful, isn't it? What a day. Stunning. What an Stunning autumn, day. a beautiful autumn day. It is, it is. Now what are we doing here today? Um, we're going to be on the road all day today. All day. The whole show's on the road and we're going to be following around some scooters. Shh, Simon doesn't know anything about scooters. Simon's under the impression that he's coming here to ride a top um, Italian sports model. Which he is, of course. Yeah, of but course, he doesn't know it's a scooter. It's a scooter. Mm. Okay. So he's he's done up uh, he's done up in leathers. Here he comes now. Look, he's Simon. Okay. Look, he's got leathers. He's got his dragon jeans. He's all Good geared morning, up. Good, Good morning. morning. Simon. Nice. Glad you could make it, mate. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome I'm, to Scarborough Beach. I'm, uh, it's a little bit rough, but I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Um, what's going on? We're heading off uh, for the whole day yeah. on a ride, and as you know, I did warn you that you're riding a pretty special machine today. Yeah, well, I'm ready for the Italian sports model with helmet, leathers, dragons, yeah. everything ready to go. You're good. Do you want to have a look at your bike? What have you got? I've got it here for you. Come and have a look. Right, let's have a look. Come and have a look. This is it, mate. This is not a sports bike. It is. It's yeah. uh, new, new X7 from Piaggio. Absolutely superb. I've been had. No, no, you haven't been had. We told you it's a, a top Italian sports model. Yes, okay, it, is, it does look sporty, but what's so sporty about it? Did you not pull up today and look around you and see all these scooters? I was hoping the sports bikes were hiding. Heaps of them, look. No, that's what we're doing, all day scooters. Well, it'll certainly be different, that's for sure. It will be, so you be very, very careful on this. <laughs> I've got the MP3. Alright. Yeah. And so. who else is riding? Who else is riding? Evie's riding. What are you riding, Evie? I'm on the Eagle, Paxton 150. Oh, well, there you so, go. So we, okay, well, at least we can all suffer, I mean, enjoy today together. Yeah. So yeah. we'll hit the road, shall we? Indeed. Let's you, go. You ride carefully. <laughs> How'd you go? Great. Great? You enjoyed yeah. it? Yeah, no, it's going great fun. Yeah? It's um, very smooth, very easy to ride. Yeah. I probably should have been on a slower scooter because I kept on leaving everyone behind at the lights. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> did you did you notice it, I mean, no disrespect to the scooter, it makes you want to ride like a scooter rider? It, 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 like, it throws you forward like this? Yes. No, well, mine's, mine's alright because my legs are braced against the front well, of the scooter I've, there. I've it's been good. sitting back here. It's quite comfortable back here. Yeah, I can't quite get that far back. It's quite nice plus, since you just sit there. You already look like a Pratt, so anything you do to make yeah. you look more like a Pratt is not going to be a problem. Whereas I'm still trying it's, to maintain some. And I know. noticed that you haven't got your Helmet House helmet on. I do. Just got small Helmet House stickers on it. So oh, right, okay, then yeah. it's alright. Yeah, no, no, it's uh... Because we've got to look after our sponsors, you know. What sponsors? Oh, that's right, we have sponsors. <laughs> So we're stopping here for coffee, where are we? We're at the L2 Cafe in Fremantle, mm -hmm. just opposite the train station here. Um, it's been great fun, we, did you see the Mustang Drivers Club yeah, as we beautiful. came Have through? Have I got a helmet here? Uh, I get a bit worried about that. Just a little bit, but we'll get make up onto that oh, for that's you. that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, we should have coffee, a little bit of a break, and then we're off to Retro Chef. Retro Chef? Yes, And we're, we're going to we're gonna have some lunch at Retro Chef. Should be, should be some fun, that's Excellent, and the bike's handling well, Evie? How you going with it? It is fantastic. It's a talky little 150cc. Yeah. I'm loving it. And it's got all the compartments for your shopping and carrying your helmet and everything. No, it's a great little unit. Yeah. Great little unit. Yeah, you, you... And it's easy to ride. It's, it's a good start off bike. Very easy to handle. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So we're ready for our next, we'll have a cup of coffee and then we're ready for our next session. Yeah? Fabulous. On this scooter ride, I've found Rick. He's with the Sunset Coast Scooter Club, 
and he's got a fantastic scooter here that he's set up. You're one of the original mods, is that correct, Rick? Yeah, one of the original, one of the 60s mods, yep. Yeah, okay. East London. <laughs> and what's the deal with the bike here? Um, well, it's, it's a thing for the, um, like the 60s, I say, all the mirrors. Um, earlier on in the 60s, they used to, what it was, the police made, made uh, the scooters were made without, scoot, without mirrors, and they made, they forced everyone to, you had to put mirrors on. So what the mods done was they went overboard and they put, you know, 10, 12, 15, 20 mirrors on. So that's that's why the mirrors, it's an old thing from the 60s. Okay. And uh, the lights, um, you know, yeah, the lights are just there for lights. But um, these badges here, they're from, um, this one here's from the 60s. It's an old, it was an old TV advert for the SO men. What they do, these two little guys used to come out and they used to uh, sing a song and they used to wipe and wash the car windows and all that. And it was a, a SO, but I think SO don't make petrol anymore. Do it anymore. And that's where I was born in Somerset, in um, Bristol, in many, many years ago. Yeah. Right, right. Now, your crash bar, um, this is a, a, a Lambretta one, but you can't, it's very hard to get a Lambretta in West Australia, so what, and these clips here, they usually fit over the top of the Lambretta mm -hmm. uh, front there, but because this is here, this part here, you cannot fit those clips over. So what my son done, he's very good, he's very handy, he drilled a couple of holes in there, wedged the, um, the, the top of the uh, clip there into them and bolted them off on the, uh, the other side, and yeah, so you've got your, um, you've got your rack. So uh, how's the balance and the handling on the bike now that you've got this whole setup? There's a bit of weight in that, surely? Uh, well, no, not really. The uh, well, the only thing's probably weight is this one here. Okay. Um, these these two mirrors, these two lights here, I've got there. Austin Healy, they're from Austin Healy. Right. And these these two and those two up the top there, I got them from a um, a shop in London up uh, near Petticoat Lane last year. And right. all the rest of the stuff I just got, uh, yeah, I sent away from uh, made all the stuff and all that. You cannot buy, you cannot buy these type of stuff things in, in, in Australia, so you have to send overseas for them. Yeah, okay. So. And yeah. tell me, like, have you got problems with reflections? Car lights, uh, sunshine? No, not really. No, not really. No. Doesn't worry me at all. I wear these. <laughs> true. True. My ride for today is the 2009 Piaggio X7, 250cc. Great fun to ride. It's got a huge amount of power. I was quite comfortably doing the freeway speeds, 100, quite comfortably doing country speeds as well, 110. Probably got into a little bit of trouble because I seem to be leaving a lot of people behind the lights as it's just the power, this is just so much fun. What have we got? Well, start from the front. Great headlights, awesome vision, really nice wide fairing, windscreen, really well protected and sheltered. Gives you just a very comfortable ride. Move back, the instrument panel, very easy to ride, nice and clear. Uh, my only criticism is it probably lacks a trip meter. It'd be nice to just be able to trip as well as Odo, but apart from that, very clear and easy to read with some great indicators as well. Next, we've got the under the seat, you get to through here. Room for two full face helmets through here. I couldn't believe it when I managed to get both helmets in. It's just shopping, everything like that. It's great, really good, really easy to use, really convenient. And then the little pack rack on the back as well. Seats two in comfort. Nice wide pillion seat, really comfortable driver's seat. A little bit cramped for someone of my height, but anyone shorter will certainly find this great fun all day around. Otherwise, a great scooter, the Piaggio X7. And we're here today with Wanda, who is part of the Sunset Coast Scooter Club, who are one of the great clubs that have come along and joined us today. Thanks for joining us today, Wanda. You're welcome. Thanks for inviting us. It's been great fun having you along the ride. Oh, it's been fantastic. Really enjoyed the ride. Great. Good fun. Nice day. It's perfect. Perfect weather. Not too warm. Nice little bit of a breeze, so it keeps it nice and cool. It's, it's good. great, great. Now, the Sunset Coast Scooter Club, who are they? 
Sunset Coast Scooter Club, a group of, a mix of people, um, all different walks of life. Mostly, most of the scooters tend to be around the 50cc to 250cc range and we tend to tailor the rides specifically for those scooters. Um, generally it's just about having fun, we don't like to get into group politics and personalities and all that. It's just about the ride, that's all it's about, just having fun. Right, now the club's fairly new isn't it? It is, the, the group has been around for quite a few years, um, but we've just recently developed it to be a, a, an official club, because that's what people want, they want to be part of a club, yeah. rather than, as opposed to just a, a group, and it seems to be drawing people in as well we've we've had an explosion of people join the club since we've we've uh, renamed it as the club so there's obviously a lot of interest out there yeah it's great i know certainly myself it's scooters have been getting more popular and it seems almost everywhere we go whenever we're filming or talking to people and stuff like that they always want to know oh all these road bikes have clubs where's the scooter clubs and it's great exactly. to see you guys helping out exactly there. it just draws interest as well wherever you go there's always people wanting to stop and have a chat it's great excellent well thanks very much again for today wanda you're welcome thank and, you uh, looking forward to seeing more from the sunset oh, Coast indeed, indeed. Thank you. we'll be out there We've just rocked up to Bibra Lake. I'm here with uh, Paul and his lovely little toll. Troll. Troll, there you go. See, I can't even say it. Um, where's the bike from? Uh, oh. this, this bike was uh, from East Germany. It was manufactured in 1964 by a company called IWL. Right. And they, uh, IWL. I oh, hear there's a uh, motorcycle engine on top of a scooter chassis on this thing. Pretty much. I mean, it's a MZ uh, motorcycle engine and yep. uh, drive chain in here. Uh, it was IWL only built the bodies right. and manufactured it. MZ did the engines, and uh, another motorcycle company called Simpson did all of the other sort of gauges, electrical, yeah, and so, all that sort of things. So, so it's so very I, much a socialist, uh, socialist uh, bike. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty long. It's, it looks like a stretch Vespa to me, but um, it's about yeah. two point two. Uh, meters long. It's uh, two point two meters. So uh, it is pretty long for a bike. Yeah, very heavy. Nearly as long as a Harley. How much does it weigh? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't know. No, but I will no. tell you, if you run out of petrol in this, uh, you certainly will feel you it. You wouldn't push it. <laughs> yeah, you'd park it up and let someone else push it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. It's and it's. Uh, I hear it one forty cc. Is it? Uh, one forty nine cc. One forty nine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, centrifugal clutch or is it a manual clutch? No, it has a manual uh, manual clutch on yep. the uh, handlebars and uh, the foot uh, controlled um, gear lever. Gear lever, just like Sim on a motorcycle. Similar to a posty bike. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Pretty, okay. pretty similar. Okay. And how many of these are in the in the state? Do you know? Um, I have heard a rumour that there's two of them in the state. Uh, the guy I got it off said that there was um, only about six of them in the country. Um, I bought it from a guy in Melbourne who uh, imports uh, vintage uh, German scooters. Right. Okay. And I bought it as it wasn't running, and I had some uh, guys, uh, Evo and Roberto at the Vespa shop, uh, did this magnificent restoration job on it. Yeah, it looks looks very well. It's, it looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. And two stroke, of course. Two stroke. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, nice machine. Yeah, it's certainly not a high performance vehicle. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sounds but like, it, 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 yeah, we were sitting uh, in front of you, it sounded like a Moto GP bike, but yeah. not going quite as fast. Not quite as yeah, fast, yeah, no. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Got a little bar work, he went to the buttery, he stayed about a year. But then he wrote a letter, he said, I want to see ya. She thought he sounded better, she sent him up to fair. Martin is going to teach us to cook bangers and mash. Oh, really? But bangers and mash, apparently, with a twist. Uh, I don't know. It's, I'll, I'll just put that in. I don't know if that's so the twist. So you're going to be dancing do. whilst we're cooking. No, he said it's with a twist. So I don't know how we're going to twist and cook bangers and mash. But uh, so that's what we're going to go and do. Okay. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. It's a bit different for a motorcycle program. Very it? different, isn't it? Hey? I, I, I'm, have we gotten lost in the? We like to diversify or something like that. That's it. That's yeah, it. Naked chef. No, no, people be eating. <laughs> um, so should we go and cook some dinner? I think we should. <laughs> Bit of a laugh. Let's Indeed. go. Let's go. And we're here with Martin Gillespie, who's going to show us... What are you going to show us today, Martin? I don't know if there's going to be a mistake or not with you guys yet, but I've never cooked with three or two handsome guys, but you make me look good now. <laughs> we're here at the Retro Chef Function Centre, and I'm oh, going to cook this fantastic <laughs> retro meal. Now, we're surrounded by these scooters, and the mods have been in town, so I'm thinking 
fish and chips, nap, bubble and squeak, bangers and mash. That sounds so great. let's get started. That sounds yeah. really now, basically, I'm going to put you in charge of the bangers. Great. A bit that of is... West Australian olive oil in here, and I'm going to yep. put some nice, big, fat sausages in the pan. Oh, they look good. Are you capable of watching that? I think Fantastic. I can handle them. Now, the, the, the twist to this recipe is, is in the bangers, Please. not the bangers, the, sorry, the, the bubble and squeak. Now, what I've done here is basically boiled some potatoes, carrots, sweet potato, and my fantastic helper here is going to do the Thank twist you. to this. Now, I've got some fresh parsley. Mm -hmm. Does that, that has wine in it as well, does it? Not yet, we're going to have a wine in a minute. Are so, um, basically what I'm going to do here is give you this. Thank you. I want you to pound this down, and this is great for anger so management. So, just, just, yeah, just, just thump it? How do you do it? it? And get it just show us. Just like that? Just like that. Just pound it. And what we'll do, we'll have some lovely West Australian wine as well. While you're pounding away. Are these supposed because to be squeaking? When you're in my kitchen, you've got to relax. Oh, thank there you. There you go. Have these, you, are these you supposed to be squeaking? How many eggs do I put in here? No eggs yet. Oh. Now, what you want to do here is basically get all the oil out of there. Hey. A little bit of oil in there. And a bit of salt. Stand Keep pounding. back, camera. Keep pounding. And what you're doing, you're getting all the oil out of the herb. And what's going to do is going to turn the oil green. Now, in this pan here, I've got my pre-boiled potatoes and carrots and sweet potato. And this is fantastic. In the middle of a garden, we've got planes flying overhead. We've got scooters. It doesn't stop. It's great. It doesn't stop. Wind. A bit of wind. Sorry, sorry about, about that. that. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> a bit of salt and pepper. As I said, the twist is in this meal. I've got some um, mushy peas, which is traditionally English. This keeps escaping. This is just keep. What's keep... in mushy peas? Well, peas that have just been mushed up, really. Is so that really all they are? Sorry to be too technical well, about that. Oh, I'm going to add some herbs to this. There. There's some salt well. and pepper in there. Now, I'm just going to mash this up. How are you going with them sausages? I think they're, they're squeaking, now, is that right? This is great. Now, what we've got, what we've got here, you stand back there. Now, Thank what you. we've got here, we see that. All the oils come out of this herb. What I'm going to do with this now, because all the flavours in there, just grab this like this and squeeze. See all that green coming out of it? That's fantastic flavour in there. It looks very similar to your uh, river over there. <laughs> <laughs> Which is drying up as we speak, really. So what I'm going to do... Can I stop pounding? You can stop pounding now. Thank you. And basically, that you can, Yeah, that's it. Basically, you, all you got there, all the flavours come out of that herb. And all I'm going to do now is basically stir this around. And this is one of their meals you could use like at night time when you've come in from the, the pub, which you never get allowed to go out to, do you? No, no, no. On a Sunday night, traditionally, no. when you came in, this would be left over from Sunday lunch. And basically what you can do is just fry it up in the pan, which is absolutely sensational. I'm just gonna add one of these eggs as well. Can I just ask something? You can ask what me. What happened to the wine? That's yours, I think. Oh, it? thank you. There you go. It's That's a tough job, eggs. but someone's gotta do it. That's a raw egg, but what this is going to do is going to bind it together. So when you come to fry it off, oh, if, you, nice. if you fry it, try a drop of that. It will bind together, and it acts as Evie, an emulsifier. Evie, come in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep going. I'm just keep going with this. So I'll try that. Oh, very nice. What have we got here? What's this? Uh, have you been mineral watching? Water? <laughs> mineral water. Mineral water. It's a West Australian wine. It's fermented wine. mineral water. So, oh, excellent. Which excellent. Is it, well, cheers. No one drinks water in retros, basically. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is just. Get this ready to plate, plate up, like so. How are the sausages going, Simon? Sausages? I think they're going well. They're, they're, they're no longer pink. They're now orange, brown. Uh, I thought right? I was working with professionals, really. Professional uh, writers, not professional <laughs> chefs. Yeah, there's a difference. But this is the great thing about cooking. It's uh, it's obviously working with non-professional people in the middle of a garden. Yeah. Thank you very much. But what we've done here was basically related this me this meal. Along with the uh, the Who actually played in Perth last night, didn't they? They did, yeah. So we've got yeah. all the mods here, which is uh, way back from the 60s and 70s. So I've redesigned this mill to actually reflect the era we're in, which is the 60s and 70s. And wouldn't it have been great to live in that area? Really Shut up. <laughs> I do. Yeah. And you, yeah. Yeah. you obviously did. Thank you. Have I said away. something? Away, I should have said something. <laughs> so what we'll go do away. here, we'll just. All right. The great thing about TV, we've actually cooked these, haven't we? Yes, they're all cooked. <laughs> and what we're going to do here. Now you can, well, just plate it up as it is, like so. And the thing is, you can add to this is a bit of onion gravy. Oh yeah, if yeah. you want oh, it that way. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is because there's a bit of olive oil in this dish, I'm going to soak it with olive oil. Because what happens with that? The olive oil hits something hot, 
and it, the flavour actually comes out of it, which is actually fantastic. And a bit of yeah. herb because the herb's actually in there. I was well. wondering why they put olive oil on top of it. Well, that's it. Because, that's and, why. and because they paid me five thousand dollars a year to do it as well. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> and that's the meal there. That's bangers and mash, or bubbling squeak, which reflects the mod zero. Thank you very much, it. Martin. Thank you very very My much. My pleasure. And that's thanks for fun. a wonderful lunch down at this place. You're open every Sunday. Every Sunday, the Sunday sessions on. Yeah. yeah. And you've got a great band here, which we'll be listening to later on. I think some of them are going to party down. I think we'll have fun. a few more wines. Do you think? No, we're we're riding. That's that's ah, just that's about that's just about enough. <laughs> right. Okay. Just because it's a very powerful machine, and I don't want to. I want it to run away with me. Yeah, it might fall over on you. It might do. Again. Yeah. Even, even though it's got three wheels. Even though it's got three wheels, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is the fastest invalid chair going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. All right, thanks a lot, Martin. Cheers. Thank My you pleasure. very much. Cheers. Thanks, Les. The Piaggio MP3, what can I say about it? It's a great little motorcycle. I picked this up the other day and uh, I've been riding it around for a while. And I've got to tell you, it's just so good. I was a bit apprehensive when I first picked it up because I was, you know, about these two wheels at the front and I'm thinking to myself, well, how's it going to behave? And, you know, what about cornering and things like that? I've got to tell you, cornering is out of this world. It's got everything you need. It's even got a temperature gauge on it, for goodness sake. And I can tell you now, West Australia, it's a lovely autumn day. It's 27 degrees. So all those people that are watching this program and are freezing to death, it's 27 degrees in Western Australia on an autumn day. Absolutely beautiful. We have had a great day. Now, what else can I tell you about the Piaggio MP3? It's got masses of room underneath the seat. You can fit, well, we could almost fit all our camera gear under there. I was quite surprised. So it may even be that we get one of these for a camera car, a camera bike one day. It's reliable. It's very, very economical. I'm no lightweight, and it, it travels with me at 110 down the freeway when I picked it up, so that's pretty damn good, I reckon, to pull me along at that sort of speed. So it'll certainly take two normal people to up, no worries at all. Now, one of the features of the Piaggio MP3, of course, is the hydraulic system on it. It's absolutely incredible. So when you reach a crawl speed, you crawl down, a little light comes on, and when that little light comes on, you actually activate the hydraulics. Look at that. So you can sit there, you've got, don't have to put your feet on the ground, nothing. It's absolutely fantastic. See, feet off the ground, absolutely brilliant. Well that's it, end of another show. What a great day we've had on the scooters, eh chaps and chap A lot of Thank fun you. out there on the scooters. Great day with the scooter club, Sunset Coast and the other guys who came down. Yeah. yeah. So. And Good lunch. Monday. And thank you to Martin as well for cooking that amazing... Oh, he did well considering he had absolutely really no help at all. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I just was looking at the sausage just saying, uh, they look cooked. <laughs> no, we're no, expert there. No, no, it was good. And I, I'm pretty good at pounding bits of grass now. <laughs> yes, that's yes, what it looked yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll see you in another uh, On Two Wheels. Thanks for watching. On Two Wheels is brought to you by the following sponsors. Fremantle where we've stopped to have a coffee. Earlier on when we were in Fremantle, <laughs> Keith walked right by. <laughs> on the road again! <laughs> we're on scooters on the road again! Lesson, don't sing when you're riding with an open face helmet. <laughs> what went in there? Don't know. <laughs> I yeah, swallowed it. All back out. I don't know. It's all right. right. It's all right. It's enough to make you vegetarian. <laughs> Any time this week would be good. <laughs>